In this video, I'm going to show you how to mask a field on an adaptive card when you want to protect the input for sensitive data in Copilot Studio. So let's first talk about what is an adaptive card. If you don't know what an adaptive card is, you can go to adaptivecards.io and basically this is a Microsoft technology that allows you to be able to build all these different uh, visual cards that can be rendered through different channels um, throughout different Microsoft products or even non-Microsoft products as well, like even iOS and Android. And so you can kind of see here in the little video that plays on the adaptive card site that they've got a ton of information here. And you can even scroll down and see examples of how you might be able to use these um, as well. This has been around since the bot framework days uh, and such. So this is a very common uh, platform for people to want to build visual cards. Now, in order to be able to build visual cards, there's an actual designer right here that you can go to. So let's take a look at the designer. Okay, so over here, I have designed this card inside of the Adaptive Cards designer. And you can do this by clicking on new card and picking one of the cards that you might want. In the case of what we're playing with, we're playing with this one right here, which is the input form. And so let's take a look here at what I've done to this card. So when we have these cards, you might have a situation where you want like your name or your email address and your phone number. I've extended this card to include something secure like your social security number. So let's look at how I extended that card by just scrolling down over here in looking at the code behind this. So you can see here that this is the uh, basically the payload uh, for the actual uh, adaptive card, which is basically JSON. And if you notice, if you scroll down, let's just find where I do, you can see the email, you can see the telephone number, but here you can see that there's an input text field that said that I've called my SSN. Now you'll see here that I put a label, so it will say social security number and it displays the format in which you want it. And then down here, there's a regex pattern that's being used. Now, in this case, you can almost just copy the phone number because the social security number, the only real difference is that you actually have a separation here um, within it that basically has uh, two numbers instead. So in order to be able to get this format, you'll see here that basically I've said, okay, I need to have zero to nine, three digits. And then I've got uh, another one that is zero to nine, two digits, followed by another one that's zero to nine for four digits. And then I put in here that if I have an error message, how do I wanna handle the error message? And you'll see here that I went in and I said, this, if it doesn't meet that format, this is what I want it to say. And you can see that I've told it to do this. Now you can literally just copy this whole section right here uh, when you go about it. But I'm gonna show you the one last little thing that you need to do to be able to make this uh, land uh, with, with it not being formatted. Uh, where it shows the text. So we want it to actually just show like asterisks or something like that. So let's go take a look at what I did inside of Copilot Studio. So now we're inside of Copilot Studio. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and show you that I created a topic. And this topic I created is called Show Adaptive Card. And I just said with a trigger phrase here to show an adaptive card as the phrase. So that's what I can type and it will fire this up. Now you'll notice here that this is where I went in and they said, I want to ask with adaptive card. So if you come in here and you say, ask with adaptive card right there, it will create this node for you. And so with that, what I did in this particular node, let's expand this and let's look at the properties on it. And what you're going to notice here, and I'll just move this over so you can kind of see it is that I took the payload from the adaptive card designer, which is you want to grab this text right here, like all of this, and you want to grab that and you want to drop it in to this location. Now, notice that it says edit JSON. You can convert this to a formula if you want it to be a dynamic adaptive card and all of that. But in this case, what we want to do is we want to just look at a regular adaptive card where there is no dynamic content. 
And you'll notice that we have all of this format just like we had before, but I did something special whenever we built this out. You'll notice here that I added a style and the style was password. And by adding style password to the end, just like you can see style tell or style email. But when you say style password, you're gonna get a different uh, behavior. So now that I've saved this, notice that I'll show you what I did to be able to test this just so you can see this. You'll see here, your information has been submitted so that after I hit the submit button, this goes to there. And then I put a question note here. And now why did I put a question note? I put a question note here because I want to debug this to show you that it's capturing the information because these are all topic level variables. So if I just end the topic without doing anything with it, you won't be able to see it in the variable watcher. So that's why I did this, just so that we have a stop point and then we have the end of the topic. So now let's actually execute this and here I'll turn on tracking so that you can see it. And if I say show an adaptive card, and you see it rendered the card. Now, if I come in here and I need to follow the formatting, again, I need to say, like Robinson, like Dwayne, in this, my email, let's just say me at home.com, and then phone number, let's just use, uh, let's do 555-123-1234, and then we get to the social security number. And in this case, I need to be able to get that same format so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type it in and I'm just gonna fill this with ones. I'm just gonna say one, 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 dash, one, one, dash, one, 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 one. So that should be completely masked. And you can see here that I've got these bullet points now. Now you can click this to be able to see the information behind the scenes, just like any type of masked uh, interface. But the idea here is to make that where that's masked so that you can't see it by default. Now, once I hit submit on this, you'll see here now is, would you like to review the variables? In the case of this, I, I wanna review the variables. So let's look at the variable picker and let's go up to the test. And I wanna look at topics and notice right here, you can see that I actually did collect all the information that we entered in just a minute ago. So the idea here is that this allows you to be able to mask this so that the user, when they're typing it in, that someone can't look over their shoulder and see this. This is a common thing for uh, people who are entering in uh, situations where they have sensitive data that they want to protect. And you can do this on social security number or any field. As long as you give it that style of password, it's going to make it where it displays it in a masked interface. So I hope this was actually helpful because a lot of people have been asking how to do this. I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, you can like and subscribe to my channel for more educational content on Copilot Studio. And as always, you can try Copilot Studio at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio.